How's it going everybody? Welcome to this unboxing video of the Logitech Pop Wireless Mouse. So I'll do the unboxing and pay it up with my iPad, give my first impressions and let you know if I think that you should be buying this wireless mouse. If you love Logitech accessories, I have recently unboxed the MX Master 3S wireless mouse and I have also unboxed the MX Keys wireless keyboard. So look at the descriptions, I am going to include the links to those videos so that you can watch them after this video. So let's get to it. So because it's a Logitech Pop mouse, you are right to have guessed that there is also a Logitech Pop keyboard, which is a mechanical keyboard called the Logitech Pop Keys. A very cool keyboard with some emoji buttons. So that's something that you can make note of and check it out if you also want to get a matching keyboard for your Pop mouse. So without wasting any time, let us open this one up and see what it looks like. So this color is called Heartbreaker Rose and at the base you can see that it has a rosy color and then at the top it has a pink color. So that is the whole color combination. So we can just remove that paper there. I think this is put in between the battery so that the battery does not run out until you start using it. So it is a portable mouse. Let us see what else is inside. Obviously there is your guides and papers that stuff that we won't get into. So this has no USB-C cable because it uses physical batteries. So if you open it up there, you can see that they give you one free Duracell battery. So you just need that battery. So it's an AA battery that you can replace later on. So let us close it up and bring the iPad so that we can start pairing it and test it out. So to pair it, it's easy. You just have to switch it on. So if you can look at the bottom there, you actually have three different channels that you can use to pair different devices. I always use the second channel for my iPad. So to pair it up, you have to press and it will indicate using the light which channel it's on. And then you can press and hold once it's on the channel that you want. And then you will go into your iPad or your computer go to settings and then you look under bluetooth you will see it there and then you can select it to pair it up that's how easy it is to pair this pop mouse so what's good about the three channels that i mentioned earlier on is that you don't have to pair it again all you have to do is just to switch and change to the channel that you used when you were pairing the device that you are using and it will instantly pick it up without you having to pair it again so let us give it a go I must say that it is a soft touch kind of a mouse and it is also very quiet but the wheel and the scrolling is pretty good so yeah i think i think it's a it's an okay mouse the only thing that maybe i'm not in favor of it's the whole design because it's almost like a flat design so it is not as comfortable as the mx master 3s mouse obviously as you can see but i'd say it is a good mouse this is what it looks like side by side with the mx master 3s mouse so yeah the other one is a much better well the mx mouse is a much better form factor than the pop mouse which is smaller but i'd say the pop mouse is probably a better option for traveling and also if you want to use it with devices such as the ipad as well which leads us to the big question, should you be buying this mouse and how much you can expect to pay for it? So price wise, you can get it somewhere between 700 rands up to 900 rands. Well, obviously depending on where you buy it, just look out for promos and stuff like that. So I'd say yes, you can buy this if you wanna have it as an alternative mouse that you can use when you're traveling that you can use for pairing devices such as your iPad. Like I said, I think this is a good option. For others, yes, you can even use it with your main computer or your main laptop if you are happy with this form factor. But the main thing to take away from these pop accessories is that they have those color combinations and they are more for expressing yourself and the colors that you love. You look at that yellow color combination which is available on both the pop keys and the pop mouse that is more for someone who like to express themselves you look at the heartbreaker rose colors they are more for that so if you want 
to express yourself through your accessories you love to see different bits of colors you want to have some sort of a color code for your setup these are good options or for example if you are owning one of those imax with those different colors maybe you got that yellow imac then you can get these yellow accessories or if you got the red one then the heartbreaker rose can be a very good fit if you don't like the magic mouse and you just want to get an alternative mouse i think it will be more appealing to a very small group of people because of the form factor and also because of these colors which for some people may be very bright but i'd say the good thing about this mouse also is it will be good for someone who is on a budget so if you're on a budget also and you want a good quality mouse then you can also pick one of these so that's it that's what i think of the pop mouse so let me know in the comments if this is a mouse that you would like to pick up in future if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and to also consider subscribing to this channel for more unboxing videos and don't forget to watch that mx keys video and also that mx master 3s mouse video thank you for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one